What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, y'all just left the gym, girl. I'm tired as hell. So, excuse my energy. But, uh, yeah, I'm tired. We about to get into um, Carlissa. She is asking if Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, can get both of the parents out of Junior, okay? Um, <laughs> she said... Can you please get my grandson parents out of jail? <laughs> added Kim Kardashian, added Blueface girl. But let's get into these comments. Kim and her family was ghetto at one time too. Y'all so self-righteous, okay? Let's see what the people had to say. LOL, Chloe, Chloe is ghetto as F. You definitely ain't lying about that. Maybe Blueface, but Rock is hotter than fish grease, okay? Exactly. It don't work like that. Carlissa, what the F you smoking? No, they were not. What the F not? Y'all, how you ask for help, then call her ghetto? They was never that ghetto. You so delusional, okay? First of all, I will agree on Carlissa being illusion, delusional in some cases. But some cases, child, she kind of be right about a lot of stuff. But let's continue. Girl, she gets innocent people out, not guilty. <laughs> Funniest thing I've seen today. Social media has been so peaceful with the two of them gone, which is a lie. Um, she's embarrassing. She does LMAO. She does prison reform, not repeat offenders. LMAO going straight to her junk. <laughs> Whenever you're down on yourself, and feeling you are feeling you aren't doing a good job parenting, it could be worse. Exhibit A. Uh, Kim, please act like you didn't see this. Kim tries to help innocent people, not toxic. <laughs> Kim K is not the fairy jail mother. <laughs> she only helps people that don't deserve to be there. <laughs> nah, Kim, leave them right there. Baby Kim, <laughs> baby Kim helped those with unfair cases, okay? Um, now she know Kim's definitely blocked her already. She should have called on herself to be a better mother and example. Uh, and he wouldn't be in this situation. You know, honestly, I think it don't really matter what Carlissa would have done. Blueface had decided in his mind that he was going to be a gangster. I don't know where it came from. Cause apparently if she, if, if, if he didn't grow up like this, where the hell it come from? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to get into this WAC 100 post because WAC did respond. Well, not respond, but he has something to say on all these allegations. All right. Where is he at? Where is the first one at? WAC said, I told her 10 times and she said, WAC, you just don't want me at court. Nah, I don't want you going to jail. Shake my head, hard head, make a soft ass. Okay. Um, the comments, the comments are not the best over here. Understand. I don't read comments to cut ass. Um, I'm not on nobody's side of like, I'm not going to talk about blue face. I'm not going to talk about Krishan. I'm not a T, uh, not a T page. I'm not a fan page. I'm just letting y'all know. Cause some of these comments can be a little crazy on this page. They really don't like her. And I mean the fans at all, but I'm still going to read some. Um, somebody said, we glad she ain't listened. She thought she was untouchable, locked up. Mwah. I believe this whole thing was planned because we all know toothless is as slow as watching paint dry. Jesus Christ. All right. Maybe I won't read these while wow, they set her up deep down. He is celebrating like most of us. Absolutely not. Well, you talking about whack. I thought she was talking about blue. Um, her slow fans said the same thing she did. Always call him whack a hater and a liar but he really do not be lying at all. That's a lie. Whack lie all the time. He just ain't lying about this particular situation. Um, I believe him, anyone that tried to give her some kind of good advice, she made it seem people was hating. Now that's true. Um, all this money she put into Blueface business, house, lawyer fees, etc. I hope save some for, for herself because she has burnt so many bridges. It's sad. But you know what our God is, an awesome God, and she will find a way. I pray Junior goes into a home uh, where he will be taken care of the proper way. First of all, the Junior situation is the most disturbing part. And to be honest, 
A lot of y'all got a lot of nasty work going on up here in your brain because for you to be happy that someone goes to jail, that's that's y'all prerogative. She grown. She did make a lot of mistakes. So that's that is on Krishan. I ain't gonna cap because if I'm if I have a warrant, I would never take myself near a courtroom, a jailhouse, none of that. Don't even what? What are you talking about, right? But Junior, like I have to ask some of y'all nasty, nasty minded individuals what would make you talk about a child that can't defend themselves like what would make you be happy at the fact that he's trying to or adults are trying to figure out where he's gonna go or just to be happy that he's he ain't doing nothing but being carried around but it's scrambling you know or the adults are just all over the place on the fact of where he's gonna go why is that a good thing to y'all you know what I'm saying? I want to know to the ones that think the way you do, because you need help. And I'm talking about at the top of the list of it. First of all, nobody, y'all ain't even met Krishan, me either. So to be so nasty about, you know, her dumb ass decisions, because it is a lot of decisions that she made that she paying for. But I mean, damn, to be so happy about it, it's definitely quite disturbing. Um, but then to be happy about the fact that Junior is just out here, you know, in a bad situation. God damn, hell, hell got a room for some of y'all, for real. Hell got a room for a lot of y'all, if you ask me, the way y'all going in um, on these comments about Junior. I, I'd be type disgusted, like for real. Nobody's perfect, you know, everybody think the way they think. Some of us is a little throwed off, but y'all a little past that. And uh, probably need to go under hell the way you speaking about this sibling. I mean, uh, this damn infant. It's disgusting. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Let me read the comments, some more comments on this, and then we out of here. Uh, remember some weeks ago when he was saying in an interview that they're in love, maybe he was plotting to make sure she kept showing up to court. Jesus Christ. Too worried about showing loyalty to Blue and trying to flex on J Jaden, I guess, Epic Fail. Um, I believe it. She would be the type to think someone's trying to help uh, some try, someone's trying to keep her away from her daddy, but really just looking out for her. I agree as well. Common sense. Don't go to the courthouse. If you have active, act, active warrants, I completely agree. hundred percent trying to be this ride or die. And even blue should have been telling her not to come knowing she has warrants and people keep calling on her like such a dumb move. And yet everybody still to blame except the fool who kept going inside a federal building with warrants. I completely agree as well. I'm going to tell y'all right now, y'all know the feds been on where she was at, but the feds like to do what they like to do when they want to do it. Okay. They don't like paperwork. So the easiest way to get you, they ain't got to do none. They knew she was coming to the court date. They've been watching her. They knew she was at the football games, but it's like, let's just wait till she go to court. That's going to be easier. It's right down the street. We ain't got to do too much. Um, we ain't got to check to see if she got weapons and all that because she going to be in the courthouse. You know, I feel like the feds was like, ding, like right on time um, for this. And here we are. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, man. Um, that's all I got because this, this whole situation is just, it's just disgusting to me. But all right, bye.